They are completely out of cheese. Out of cheese. The trucks have not brought it in. He says they've had trouble getting it for two weeks. Out of cheese. Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're back at Walmart. I came to Walmart today because I wanted to focus on a couple things. One, it's the first of the month. It's November 3rd, so all the checks are out. Uh, and their truck came yesterday. So we're going to check what items they have in there, what sales, uh, see if anything as we get closer to the holiday season that they have on sale. So let's check it out. One of the things about Walmart that I've always counted on all these years is around the holidays they usually have good deals. Today we're going to focus mostly on food products and stuff that they were able to get off their trucks. First and foremost, the one thing I want to focus on is their lack of produce. Um, like I said, the trucks came in yesterday. I don't know, you know, first of the month, I know they take a big hit, but I mean, they should be filling these things up, you know, at least for the first week, you would think. And if you guys remember, this was completely empty last time. They do have some produce. Glad to see they got some onions. Not as much as they usually do, but looks a lot better than it did. So I am gonna kinda combine this video with the meat and products that they've gotten in today. I want to show what it's going to look like, you know, at least for now, of, you know, what it looks like after they get their trucks. This stuff should be fully stocked, except for the stuff that they're having trouble getting. Now, one thing I was showing a lot of is uh, everybody's buying a lot of these, you know, already pre-made breakfast stuff and everything. And yeah, it's a little more full than it was last week, which I'm not surprised. You know, I... I don't know. I mean, obviously it's not as full as it should be. This could be from people just getting it today. I, I'm not 100% sure. I know these things are going like hotcakes. These Jimmy Dean, uh, of course, it's one of the things I love here. And they don't have some of them, but they do got the ones I like right here. A lot of you guys were asking about the Texas toast, which is kind of funny. They're still not really getting it in. I do see a few boxes here though and they do have some of their own. I've tried the Great Value Texas Toast. I'm not a real not a real fan. Honestly, me and Jess are just considering making our own garlic toast, and uh, we found a couple recipes on how to do that really good, so I just do that. One thing I don't like to see is this ice cream taking a hit. I'm noticing a lot of ice cream gone. I don't like that. I love ice cream. Look at this homemade. This is Cincinnati brand. Homemade is a United Dairy Farmer brand. Uh, that's like their premium ice cream. And I will say there was a lot more at Kroger, but seeing that this is almost completely wiped out, it's telling me they probably didn't get a truck with this stuff. Another problem with the pizzas. A lot of them are empty. All the great value ones are gone because they're cheap. Uh, we're missing a lot of pizza here. A lot of these like pre-made hamburgers and stuff that are already cooked, you basically heat them up in the microwave or, I like to put them on the stove, but a lot of these are gone too, guys. This is, this is crazy. Lots of missing Tombstone pizzas, Red Baron. And I gotta be honest, I don't think this is because of the trucks. I think they're just not getting it in. So if you wanna get fries or tater tots, particularly at this Walmart, it could be different all over the country. Uh, let us know what part of the country you're in with Walmart and what you've noticed missing. Maybe we can compare common items. Fries has been a big one. If you want fries, you have to buy this big batch of them. Like for five twenty-eight though, that's not a bad deal. They might be lowering some prices because they can't get the smaller bags. Notice that the smaller bags of the Totina's pizza rolls that we love to get four twenty-four for a small bag. I mean, it's for fifty, so I mean that that don't sound like it's too bad. But it seems like they're focusing more on the bigger bags. Um, this is a hundred and thirty count for ten dollars, ten fifty. So I mean that's not a bad deal, but this may be the way they start going. Minus a couple Red Baron personal pizzas that you can pack and take to work with you and make for a nice, easy lunch. Uh, they're all pretty much gone. They have a few DiGiorno's. Like I said, I, you know, I know I probably don't need to remind you, but it's a third of the month here. I'm surprised that this stuff isn't more packed. It must be stuff that they can't get or they're having to get more of other products that people need. I'm not really sure. Um. I know I was solely originally coming in here to check out the meat and Thanksgiving items. We're having to turn the uh, channel a bit here. We're, I don't know guys, this is nuts. They're out of a lot of vegetables. Maybe people are buying this stuff up to save for Thanksgiving or something. 
I don't want to sound all doom and gloom, guys. I'm not really not trying to. I was hoping to have a nice positive day full of full of everything. I might have to make two videos out of this. Um, back here we have our individual uh, Stouffer's Healthy Choice. You know, everything that people take for lunch during their work week. And Stouffer's doesn't look too bad here, but let's check this out banquet meals which is about as cheap as you can possibly get and some of them are good i ain't gonna lie you know i eat some banquet meals i love their their little pot pies but normally they have two full stack cases of this and uh it's it's getting wiped out these mega bowls which i'm not actually sure how popular those are but the uh hungry man is getting really thin here hello <laughs> the michelin cheap the devourer brand I mean, I just want to give you guys a good look at what's going on where we are. They are out of a lot of these healthy choice things. As a matter of fact, this is the kind I eat right here. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of these because, I don't know, I want to make sure I have them. $2.78. I know they were four for ten at Kroger, but they were out of just about all of them. One thing we don't have a shortage of is candy. Uh, and, and this could, you know, there'll be some empty spots because they're fill, taking out the Halloween candy and filling it with all the Christmas candy. So, oh, look at that. Those went up. Actually, I don't know. They were $3.99 before to go up only 24 cents. I'll still buy them. I love them. The uh, peanut butter eggs or, well, Christmas tree. Okay, so I made it over here to the meat. Now, one thing I see right away, we got two ribeye steaks for $31.22. Now we've been seeing meat go up. $14.99 a pound seems to be like the magic number here. So for this to be $31.22, that's a little more. $16.97 a pound. $16.97. One thing I don't get here, these are both the same type of steaks, okay? This is a dollar eighty-four, or I'm sorry, $16.97 a pound, and it's $31.22. This one is less. This is a pound uh, point ten. So these probably weigh about point about 0.6, a little over half a pound a piece. 1997 a pound. So I don't know if I take this up front, which is the one, I don't get it. I don't get it, why is one more than the other? They're both the same Angus premium choice. That might just be a price mistake. First of the month, I assumed that this would be packed. It's about one o'clock, November 3rd, so they should have everything that they have out here, or at least more packed. So we saw the other day at, I believe it was Kroger. This is about the same price for a pound, or no, I'm sorry, it was at Meyer for a pound, $6.98 a pound for the, uh, the stew meat that you would put in like a meat vegetable soup or something. That's about the same price. I know you guys wanted me to point out the big 10 pounder here. It is 2612, so 10 pounds, that would be 260 a pound. That's a good deal. And we may start having to buy in bulk to get the kind of deals that we want. They do have the Johnsonville Italian sausage, which I'm glad to see. It has gone up, uh, but it is a little cheaper than it was at Kroger. It's 512 here, it was 599 at Kroger for the Johnsonville brand. Okay, so the best deal I found uh, my mom, she always makes uh, our Thanksgiving dinner, and she loves Butterball. Good to see that they're 98 cents a pound. I may go ahead and buy one of these because I, I'm assuming the further along we get, they may go up in price, or they might be gone. So if you, if you find that turkey, I would go ahead and buy one and freeze it. Just to make sure you get one. They also have the Honeysuckle brand, which I know is one that a lot of people like. Uh, 87 cents a pound so that's a really good deal glad to see they got them okay i had to step away from the meat for a minute there are people that are a lot of people coming back there um i did see the chicken was four dollars a pound for tyson chicken four dollars a pound that's a lot one of the things that we were talking about in our last video was cereal and this was kind of what i was afraid of i mean there are a lot of different types of cereal that keep coming in and so I, I don't think, you know, it's too big of an issue. I, I'm easy, I can always find a good cereal I like. Even though they don't sell as much coffee, I will say it does seem like Walmart always has coffee. One thing I wanted to point out, and if you have a Sam's Club member, it is definitely better to go to Sam's Club for your coffee. But this is $4 cheaper than what it is at Kroger. So for 22 of these, $16, it's 20 at Kroger. So you save four bucks. 
A 22 count of Dunkin' is right around $20 too. You can save five bucks shopping at Walmart. So that's some good things. And you know, we do have to shop for deals. Things that I always think about when I come to these stores, especially to do a video, I think of the kids. Last week, I mean, at least they have a few things of apple juice, but a lot of these like kitty uh, things that they take and pack for their lunches, like these juices and stuff, these are becoming harder and harder to get. To be honest with you, I didn't even know they still sold Yoohoo. That's pretty cool. I gotta admit, guys, this is kind of embarrassing. I believe this is where all the cheese goes. And we have, the reason why I say that is because we have some cheese here. I don't know if they're moving it, but it doesn't look like it. So they got some string cheeses and stuff here. I don't know, like they have all these empty boxes here, which kind of makes me think they might be moving this to a different section. But I mean, I don't know what section they would move that to. This is pretty much where their cheese has always been and a lot of the dairy. See, they're out of a lot of cream cheese here. Uh, looks like they got butter. Just talked to an employee who works here. They are completely out of cheese. Out of cheese. The trucks have not brought it in. He says they've had trouble getting it for two weeks. Out of cheese. Really thinned out on the lunch meat too. I don't know guys. This is, uh, I'm trying to make good things out of this here, but it's, it's not looking good. I think they may know this is a hot commodity here. They do have taco shells, which honestly is kind of surprising for $1.82 for 12 shells. That's with everything else. That's not a bad deal. Hey, I want to show you guys something. I came over here to where the taco shells usually are. They have that on an end cap because they know that people are looking for them, but they don't have anything what they normally do. And I've been kind of talking to people as I walk around in here, you can see where they're stuffing other things to take up the space that they're missing for these things. Remember, I was telling you the issue with the mayonnaise, the Miracle Whip, they got one thing on their truck, one. There's not one behind it, that is it. That is all the Miracle Whip they have now. I like regular mayonnaise, which seems like it hasn't been an issue, uh, but Miracle Whip has been a problem. So if you do, if you like Miracle Whip better, Buy yourself one and just kind of put it away. Walmart's looking very thin on a lot of products. This is crazy. Well, that was very unexpected. I did not expect to see that much stuff gone. The whole reason why I did this video was to see how much they would pack in with the trucks they got from yesterday. And it being the first of the month, I know a lot of you guys were saying because of the first of the month, it should be more packed or look more packed. Now, one thing you always want to check if you go to Walmart or any of these major uh, grocery stores like Kroger or anything, check the middle aisles. Oh, if you noticed like the tacos that they had out, didn't you think, I thought that was a little funny because they had the taco shells. They know everybody's been trying to get taco shells. So they put that on an end cap. Uh, a lot of the stuff I, I, I didn't even film, like some of the end caps that are like freezers, they would have one section that would have stuff and then another section completely empty. So they're, they're either gonna fill that with something else. I really don't know what they fill it with. I, you know, I, a couple things that I didn't mention were the vegetables. A lot of the vegetables are gone. They have like the mixed vegetables and stuff like that, but like a separate pack of like green beans, peas, corn, stuff like that, a lot of that's missing. For the holidays and stuff like that, you know, you may want to buy the things that you need for Thanksgiving maybe a little early. If you see it, grab it. Um, and yeah, you don't have to, you know, we're not going to buy up a ton of stuff, but we are going to be careful with our money. We are going to, uh, you know, you guys know who've been watching us for a long time know that we shop at Sam's Club. We love Sam's Club. We may look into Costco in the future. Uh, Costco's kind of far away from us though, but if we, if we save a lot of money, and they have the products, then we may shop there. The cheese, the empty shelves of cheese at Walmart is what broke me. At first, I thought that they just were moving it to another area. We saw like the Philadelphia cream cheese was very low, some of that stuff, and the empty boxes on the bottom that nobody has thrown away yet. So I don't know if those were boxes that they might have actually packed from the first of the month and they were getting rid of them because the first was actually a, a couple days ago. But I wanted to come here on the third mostly because of the the trucks that come in on Tuesday. I, I figured that they would have everything. So one thing we're gonna have to do, which a lot of us have been talking down in the comments and everything, and I appreciate all your guys' feedback. And, and the one thing that I, I wanna know from you guys is what the Walmarts are looking like around the country here, around the world. Leave it down in the comments. 
Um, ours is looking terrible. It, it's looking, and as I talked to the guy, you know, he said they haven't been able to get cheese in for a couple weeks. And he said it's, he said it's getting bad. And I'm like, uh, you know, I'm not one to sit there and say things are bad all the time. But, I, you know, like I said, I'm being honest here. It looks bad there. It looks like food is, is scarce at Walmart and prices being the way they are. It's like, it, I, you know, I'm not going to spend $30 for two half pound ribeyes. I won't do it. Uh, that's that's way too much money. I'm gonna talk to some local like butching shops, some of our uh, farmer family places that, you know, they get their own meat. Look, we're gonna compare prices because you know what? If I am gonna pay those kind of prices, I'm gonna support the little guy. We do support the little guy. And I'll name some names of these places when we get into that. But one thing that I wanted to do on this channel, we knew, me and Jessica knew a few weeks ago that things were kind of changing around here. We knew that there were products that we always buy that we're not able to find in a lot of the stores. So we've been seeking elsewhere, even Amazon. You know, we're trying to search on Amazon to see if they have taco shells or whatever we need, you know? And, and it's been harder and harder to find these kind of products. Where I really feel bad about this is that some of you have commented that, that Walmart is really the only store that is close to you that sells food and like a lot of other shops and stuff charge even more. And it's like, you know, that, that's where I, f I feel terrible for people. You know, we are fortunate enough to have multiple grocery chains in our area here in Ohio. And, you know, we're lucky for that. And, and the other thing that hits me too, especially at Walmart, Kroger, other places are, are the kids. Like, you know, they have to be able to pack their lunch to go to school. They have to have something to drink, a juice or, or something, you know, and these are the things that are getting harder to get. Crackers, like Ritz crackers, uh, the peanut butter and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to keep doing these videos for you guys. I'm going to make sure that, you know, a few times a week, we're going to visit some of these places, see what things are coming back. We're going to check out new stores, uh, maybe some dollar stores like Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, some of these places to see if, if they're getting the items. Sorry, it, it, it is what it is, you know. I mean, it's that that particular Walmart, our particular Walmart, it's it's not looking good there. So, I mean, you know, I'm just I'm just being honest, you know, and I'm not saying go out and, and panic buy or anything like that. OK, so don't don't think that all I'm saying is that when you see it, you see something that you use. Yeah, you might want to buy, you know, if it's a good deal, two or three of them. I was expecting it to be a little better today to show some light in the store, you know, a little light at the end of the tunnel, as you might say. Um, but to go in there and it actually look worse, you know, I feel bad because I, I was really wanting this to be a more uplifting video. But like I said, you're going to always get the honest truth out of me and my wife. We are two of the most honest people you'll ever meet. With all that being said, until the next video, I'm out. And always remember, the adventure is out there. <laughs>